So they've gotten into it pretty quick. Hello, welcome back. We just shot down to the least box, shifted the hoggets or ewe lambs that have been on kale into the yards, and when we're doing that, ran them down the road, collected some fecal egg samples. So that's what Jenna's got in her hands there, some poo. Uh, and we're just gonna use the FEC pack uh, and test them, see what the number of eggs or their worm burden is at the moment, pretty much to see whether they need drenching. They've been on crop and a runoff paddock. And they are gonna come back here to the home farm and they're gonna go on kale and a runoff paddock as well. So we just wanna make sure they're not compromised in any way. So we'll go through this process and um, see what the numbers come out like. So crushing up the samples at the moment and then we've got to take another subsample with this, um, put it in some saline and then we can have a look through the microscope. You got it. So we've got our saline, something I prepared earlier. 200 mils of that, nearly done. Mixing your poo. Um, yeah. Squashing it, really. Squashing it? Yeah, really get in there. Come on. Um, you will come across the problem that I had. What's that? When you go to take 30 mil sample through the, there. It'll clog it up. It'll clog it up. And in this process here, it doesn't tell me when to use the sieve. Mm. So do you sieve before or after the sample? It's a question, isn't it? It's a question for Ben. Oh, well. We'll, we'll try it, we'll try this. Right, can you hold that? Sure can. Cool. Wonder how much you'll get in the syringe before it gets blocked. 10? Maybe 10 mils? Is that, is that? Brute force will fix it, won't it? <laughs> no, I don't know what you're on about. If you let go of the top of the syringe, will it just go? Oh yeah. Can you run see your facial expressions? No, it's not what about. <laughs> was it about 10? Yeah. I'll squirt this in your face. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah it was, oh, 15. I'll give you that. Right, yes, there we go. Hey, Willow. Oh, and then you've got to get it out of there. Nice. Do you know what you're talking about? Easy. So there's our slide. So we take a sample of this. Mix slide. It up. Have we got another container? Because let's sieve it. <laughs> sorry, sorry, what? Have we got another container? Why? Uh, to sieve it. Why would we need to sieve it? Gina, can you get another container, please? Love you. Oh, she's hard work. Oh, 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 oh. Sieve the sample, make it easier to get into the slide. So I'll grab a sample here. You're so real. Put it into the slide. Right, we've got our slide full. We will see up our microscope. Can they see anything? I don't know. Why don't you go over there and film? Such criticism today. There we go. That's better. So we've got a handy dandy torch. Put it under there. Oh, it's a bit bright. <laughs> Blind me. So all of this shit show is actually done. Yes. The shit part of the shit show. The shit part of the Literal show. poo part. Particles. And then you have to remind yourself what is an air bubble and what is an egg and what is a... You're an egg. No, nah, what's the one that starts with C that you don't count? That lambs get. That we... Coccidiosis. Oh, it was coccidiosis. I was thinking of something else. So the slide is divided up into grids. So you just move it up and down and it's numbered so you know that you've searched the whole area. Correct. No, I wasn't asking, I was telling the camera. Oh, right, okay. Yeah. There's one. Oh, get the pamphlet. One. I find it. Is it a ear bubble? No, 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 it's not an ear bubble. You can see the. Okay. So it's not a. See the inside of it. I'll try and video on my phone or we'll take a photo on my phone so done three samples three slides um, the worst one came out at 270 grams of eggs no eggs per gram so 
anything over 500 needs to be drenched. So we're all good for now. Um, these ewe lambs will come through the yards and get an ovine multi, so just a mineral drench. Just because they're on crop, we want to make sure the iodine levels, selenium and everything are adequate. Especially um, since they're pregnant. Yeah, especially because hopefully they're pregnant and they're not compromised in any way. So uh, we've got a couple of hours before they're due to um, trucks due. So might go and cut some kale lines. So we're here in the kale paddock at home. This is kale and that there is rafno. So there was a bit of rafno mixed in in the seed drill when they sowed the rest of this. Uh, yeah, it is what it is. Uh, so we're just going to bust some lines through here and this is going to be their runoff paddock. So we're going to end up putting some fences in here just so they don't trample at all. Um, and then these paddocks over here, they've got to run through to get into here, but then they're going to be used for early lemming. So we've got the cow cutter all sorted, get into it. You cheeky. Sit down. That'll do while I go for. While I go for. I thought you were going to be on your bike. Yeah, yeah. That'll do. That'll do. Fella, you're good to be here just on your own. None, none, none of them young larrikins here. Yeah. yeah, we will do a video on all you dogs, won't we? Yeah. Oh, yes, we will. Oh, yeah. 430. Go. Didn't know whether I was going to pull the ram lambs out before I chuck them home. Or... Yeah. So they're all mixed. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Fight, little fellas. Let's go. Come on. Come on. There you go. Where you go? Where you go? Get up there. Go on. Get up there. Go. Up. Up. That's us all loaded up. Uh, Mark's up there sorting out the ones that he's put in the top. So we should be good. Are we good? Are we good? Yeah. Getting through them. These are all the ones we've drenched. We counted them onto the trucks, so I'm not worried about counting them now. My GoPro ran out of battery, so using my phone. But these are looking good. Pretty stoked with them.
Jenna helping me just before she's tutoring. You got the ram lambs over there. Looking very upset not being with the ladies again. So we've got all the rams out. Uh, we need to get them across the road and away from the ram lambs that are on this side of the road uh, so they don't get mixed up. We're just trying to do that before it gets too much darker. Got Millie down here tuning them in for me into the crossing paddock, the whole paddock that we use to get them across the Ashley Gorge Road, the main road here, and um, hopefully it'll go smoothly. Alfie, red. Had to make sure that the ram lambs in here didn't get mixed up with the ram lambs in there, so but we're all good. Yeah, um, they move quite well, so. Well, I go. Cars, sit. Blue. You friggin' idiots. Right, we'll get them in the cross and into the holding paddock. Got them in here. Shut the gate. Set up some cones, signs. Put some hivers on and cross them. So we've got our hivers, got our flashing lights, got our cones out. Millie's down there. Um, and yeah, we'll wait for a few vehicles to go past. Then we'll set them going. Uh, Cuz! We'll let Cuz go and he can bring him close. Loop. Wait. And then once we've got a break in traffic, we'll uh, let them go. Canary. Oh. I've got the dogs on the other side over there. So if I start going that way, I can just get them to speak and uh, I'll chase them back. Where they want to go. Blue! And close at the back to hook them out. Good boy, is that everything? Good boy! Well done! Right. You can follow these down. They've been in the yards all day, so they'll be pretty hungry. Might just graze their way down, which is not bad. down there just turning them in. Quite a big help. You can work on your own. Kids. <laughs> right, and it's pretty cool that they want to come and help. So we've got these girls in here for the night and then tomorrow we'll come and set the brake fences up on the crop. We have to kind of transition them again but as long as we make sure that they're full when they go on the crop, there's plenty of grass around the outside so I think they'll be right. No, it's just a bit dark, I don't know if you can see me. Um, got these ram lambs here, just gonna count them out. And they'll just hang out in the holding paddock for the night. And then we'll join them in with some other ram lambs we've still got. Yeah, these will end up going to the works uh, as soon as I can get them booked in. So, um, right, we'll catch you tomorrow when we do some crop. I'll set some brake fences up for those hoggets, uh, you lambs over the road. Morning, next day claggy and foggy but the sun's coming through so it should be right and then rain due this afternoon so just trying to get these fences up for these hoggets um so that's them behind me over here they spent the night in that paddock there and uh i see a few of them starting to sit down so if you didn't know a ruminant if they're fully fed will sit down and ruminate at 10 o'clock and two o'clock that's new zealand i don't know daylight saving time whatever rough rule of thumb so some of these girls are starting to sit down, which means they've got a full tummy, which means now I can open it up onto this crop and they're not gonna gorge themselves. So I think we'll be all right in here, plenty of grass. Yeah, around the edges, so they'll, they'll 
balance their diet, they're pretty good and since they've been on crop already. And then this is our runoff paddock that they're going to run into. Once we've got all the fences set up, we've just got to go home and get some more fences. Um, this is Italian and Timothy that we put in for horse hay. But it's, um, yeah, it's pretty good stuff. But yeah, put some fences up just because I don't want them to run over the whole paddock and trample it all down. I want to make sure they utilise it. So. so we've got our Farmer Q app open here now. We just want to put a general event next to these ewe lambs that we pulled the um, rams out from yesterday. So 2022 ewes. Uh, is actually 393, I think. Continue with that. Yesterday's date, 22nd of June. We'll go in the afternoon. Category, uh, what would it be? It'd be drenchy note. Mm -hmm. Mating, mating, and then we'll just write in here pulled ram lambs out. So that just records the date that we pulled them out against that mob. So Farm IQ for the win. So then on the new Farm IQ app, you've got this map interface. So we want to shift the ewe lambs that came home from the lease block. So we select on them, select events, move mob, select paddock destination. So they are coming back home and they are currently in duck. So it was Thursday evening, finish. Here we go, move them into there. And then once they've come out of the duck paddock, which is just where they are here now, over there, we will move them into, on the app, move them into this crop paddock. Pretty simple, pretty good way of uh, keeping track of all your animal movements and uh, how long it has been since animals have grazed different paddocks. So if you're wanting like a 40 day round, so no animals go back into their paddock for 40 days, great way of um, recording that and making sure that you're not cross contaminating anything. Three point nine. Hmm. Must be some faults somewhere between a unit and here. But um, one thing I wanted to show you guys was, if you haven't seen them, a hot post from Strainwright. So four wires on it. It joins all the wires together. Um, so we use them at the start and the finish of each strain, sheep strain, and then on the big long ones like this one we did over here, we've got one in the middle, and it just ties all the wires together really well. Um, saves you using four alligator clips all together and then they get tangled and or having some lacing wire that you then wire all the uh, poly wires up so if you haven't seen them go and check them out well worth it not affiliated anyway but i'll chuck a link in the description it's um just something that we use once and we've never gone back and then father-in-law uses them as well and they're just great great piece of kit so we'll go show you over here um opened it up in the the hoggets really got into the into the cow already, which is good. So they've gotten into it pretty quick because they know what it's like. They're uh, yeah straight into it, which is great. <laughs> They're all sitting down. So we'll open it up and they can have this runoff paddock now as well. We'll just connect this wire up and test it. Maybe some vegetation touching the hot wire along there somewhere. Oh hello, Buttercup. George's pet. Buttercup there. <laughs> you fool. Right, we'll open this gate and leave them to it. Snowy, snowy, you are not a sheepdog. Hmm? Just shot down, picked George up from school, and the weather's turned to crap. Uh, had a bit of rain and it's turned this drizzly stuff, but one more job to do is to join the ram lambs up. Uh, so the ones we pulled out yesterday, the, the ones we already had that we didn't make with, and uh, the ones we pulled out of the hoggets. So, but just in here checking the pond. So we fenced all this off, did some plantings. Just walking around here and nothing more exciting. <laughs> simple, simple minds. Uh, than finding an overflow piece of drainage pipe that you never knew existed. So this here comes into the pond. We cut the end off it, 
cleaned all the mud out of it. Now she's flowing. Um, don't worry about the silty water, it just sits in this pond and then it goes down. Actually, I'll show you. So down over here, it overflows out of the top pond, down into the bottom pond. Um, so yeah, everything will just sit, silt and stuff will sit in here, all go into there, and then from there it drains out into the drain which runs down to the road. Um, the uh, reason I put the, let the lambs in here is we've got some more cabbage trees and stuff to plant. A few other ones didn't survive, so we're going to put probably 20 odd cabbage trees in here and more flexes and stuff. Um, so yeah, just chew the grass out, make it easier for them to survive. But yeah, everything's looking pretty good in here. Stoked how these um, flexes that we have planted have come away. You can see them along the edges here, a few of them, and then heaps over that other side. So we'll go and get these lambs out of here and uh, we call it a day for a Friday afternoon. Right, Ram Lamb's away, Friday afternoon. Yeah, call it a day. Thanks very much for watching. We'll uh, see you in the next video. Have a good weekend.